another mission I need. Yeah, the extra opens HQ and the serious compound. Hopefully, by getting them this this early on, we they're basically like the previous mission, a handful of people and really easy to complete. Sounded like snails. Somewhat troublesome, but not really typical. And is it a? Ooh, it's a this is new. Okay, I think we're just gonna do a group movement first. I'm assuming that's the entrance, right? Doesn't look like there's that many people here. And one guy was somewhere totally different, right? Running noises. What makes the running noise? I didn't have a popper in the previous mission. I recall hearing that same noise. But it's not a puffer. It's not a hyper worm. Uh, it could be the blue guys, I guess. Isn't that much we can do here. Might be worthwhile the use of flying and it's just scout around a bit. We might be able to avoid going to every little location personally with the full group. Alright, so it's pretty much uh he's outside. I'll leave that to the cover armor units. Oh no. no, it's not really outside. So we would. That's probably some kind of central hover lift. So getting there is of primary importance. Hmm. You need to kill him. I'm trying to be somewhat cautious in what we shoot simply because as long as they're 
they're contained within this stru building structure system. They're not really a threat. I don't want to accidentally shoot open a pathway for them to escape. Oh, fuck. So I'm too high, too highly elevated, so it can just outside its explosion radius. <sighs> yeah, that could have, that could have gone badly. Now, uh, mind control you. Not that I would in this type of environment. I mean, I'm trying to stop any kind of extra damage. I'm certainly not going to start bombing the place myself. Jesus fuck, dude, it's, it's right there next to you. <laughs> you couldn't kill a single... Ugh. Problem now is that uh, I need a beam weapon to kill it. it doesn't automatically explode. I need to make sure that we actually hit it. <sighs> Sorry guys, they're they're so fucking worthless. At least so far. But <laughs> They turn out to be useful later, they have to be used now, that's that's the main problem. Right. So this is the key to everything. What the fuck are you doing? Uh and no you can do that. And the tables then. Where the fuck are you? Couldn't couldn't go there, had to yeah. I I don't get the pathfinding. I might have mentioned that before. Oh shit. If they're gonna kill it and turn it to hyperworms, that's death for us. Loot. We weren't all for. Okay, this this went badly for us, but no one died. That's something. Again, getting injured a little bit is not really a problem. But how badly was it? Uh, reasonably injured. Terribly injured. No one got wounds. Uh, we'll, fine. we'll be fine. I need something that will kill them on a single shot.
another worm. hate that they can shoot immediately so much. Gives me an excuse to load. Yeah, this was pretty much the worst possible thing to happen. Not because... Basically because I put my reaction shots into auto fire. We simply shot too many times. Right, walk. Just calmly walk towards the enemy. I have to save any points. And this situation, could you possibly kill it this time? I'm not going to shoot. I want to observe what they do. The final funnel head might be a bit tough to kill because of how he's positioned. <sighs> right. I guess I'm just gonna do the typical stun thing. I don't know what else I could do. With the hyperworms, we would have to have a little bit of space, then I think of basically a grenade that detonates immediately. But since the point here is to try to avoid the damage to the structure or the civilians, so not exactly the best possible option to go with. Now they can all escape there. How much reaction fire do we want? Uh, 
Okay, we know that there's other aliens here. So we'll have to be somewhat careful with the troops here. I don't think we have to be too careful though. They're not going to be too eager to just walk over the gas. It's odd against the snail, the mulzy worms, trying to avoid reaction fire. It didn't really matter early on because our weapons were so weak, but now it's starting to be a problem. It's aggravating because in any real type of a situation you could just say to your soldiers, don't fire on them. But here it's a, it's a nightmare. Okay. I think we will. Uh, yeah, I think we mostly isolated them. As long as we just get the. Get the multi work. There were at least two of them though. Now they're both likely here. Now they're gassed enough that even if they come to us, I, I'm okay with that. Sure, if we want to keep shoving more people in this crowded, uh, crowded situation, might not go our way. Okay, the next turn should be the final one. Then we have the Cold of Sirius. I'm not sure... What's the difference between Call of Sirius that's already hostile to you versus Call of Sirius that's fully infiltrated with the aliens? I'm assuming some kind of cut in funding, but I mean practical difference. There might not be any. They're already hostile after all.
I'll leave it to the machine gun guy to handle that. Shit. No, it's uh, still a dead end. I thought they might have uh, escaped somewhere. That's not happening. Okay. Take the worm out. I need a scout or two. Your entire purpose is to go into the loop and go up and down to see where the enemies are. Basically go down, I guess. I see. I see what's going on. Ooh. Okay, it's just two. It's a little bit troublesome, but not that big of a deal. We need to kill the blue. Be able to gas the other one. So now it's more or less just a situation where we need to have enough people to put bullets in the worm. That's about it. While you two make sure that this fucker, if it gets up, it goes down again. Perfect. It went into the gas, so the effect I suppose is more, more noticeable. Machine gun guy. Victory? Yeah. Ah. It's not exactly entertaining missions. I feel... There could be ways to make it more interesting. Uh, we're gonna do one more mission in the... Or serious. Simple visitors. 
So I need to make sure that we actually have the equipment we need and I need to add an extra guy to the group. Sorry, there is. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. Active group has to have to have the raptors. Wonder if the stun gas and grapple effect are different somehow. What I mean is, would there be a target that you are unable to affect with the other? Gas doesn't seem to be all that effective against certain things. At the same time, the grappler is on its own, at least it's basically worthless against a lot of opponents. So we have two of them. We're not exa exactly expecting anything to be captured here. So two is more than enough. Who exactly has the... Ah, uh, it's you, the guy who is not actually in the team. Right. I'd like to wait until we get the next tech level. Research completed. We're doing some kind of a... ...99% alien energy source. I want to see what that uh, unlocks us. Does it unlock anything? It's the first UFO technology we research, basically. So they're mad at us. They have been infiltrated though, without a doubt. It has to be this one then. There's other alien blue somewhere in this direction. So sanctuary clinics neutral. Uh, let's go take a look. I don't exactly care what they think of me, but it might have other negative effects if we start just doing missions that aren't leading anywhere. I'm not afraid of this guy basically corporation getting infected. But I think it acts as a little spread the infection. Is this the same map as normal raid, except no call this this time? Just typical alien mission. Not that it matters too much. No, 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 no.
Yeah, this is the only exit for both groups. Uh, we'll look map on the other hand, it's not all that complicated, so we should get into combat range very quickly. I give zero shits about the damage we do to the structure here. I think definitely a bomb, definitely hyperworms, and call the serious guys. I guess they are allied with the with the aliens, so it's not ex surprising that they would joined the fight, I just wasn't expecting them. Still... Why can't I mind control anyone? That's a waste of points to do anything else. Maybe there are just less cultists this time. They're missing or I suppose more or less missing cultists are replaced by aliens. Still, taking down a simple unarmored human takes two to three shots. Three more often than not. So this, these disruptor weapons aren't exactly some kind of magic bullet. They're way too ineffective to be useful against the topper aliens. Hello, my friends. Plasma pistol is like you need one shot more compared to the disruptor pistol, but it might be more accurate. Even these shitty guys are somewhat accurate, but it also has a huge amount of shots. So it might be a better weapon overall. Hitting everything but what you basically want to hit.
wonder if killing the serious guys is gonna influence the alien morale. I would imagine not, but at the same time I don't know. Okay, so this is barely sure where their main location is. Alright. Incoming bombs. I don't want to shoot at them. It's not he's not a threat at that that distance. He's more or less just going to function as a spotter for his uh, alien bodies, but I, I think they know, they know where we where we are, so so what type of uh, benefit it would be for me to try to throw everything I have into try to killing that guy. More or less I would be just less ready to counter the inevitable rush of hostile units coming our way. Hyperworms. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Needs a lucky shot, otherwise we're dead. No such luck. Long wait before you had to load, right? I hate how fucking inaccurate these destructor pistols are. Uh, it's like there have been a lot of opportunities to use them in reaction fire, but I, I can recall maybe one or two successes, and uh, compared to the massive amount of opportunities given, that's that's terrible. I don't think we particularly want to go anywhere here. We we want to kill as much as we can, then we'll retreat back into this area. I don't think the enemy has the mobility to reach us. Everyone that dies carries grenades, so even a small explosion is deadly here. Right, the biggest problem this weapon has is it's actually just inaccurate. Hello, my friend. It's an android, Mark Webb. Well, it's not really an android, it has, just has that kind of an icon. Mark Webb with the plasma pistol. 
I'm hoping this guy will basically function as the draw the enemy attention. We need to be careful not to break through this door, uh, this uh, wall. That's gonna get us into trouble. Basically, we need to kill that guy with the machine gun guy. Well, it isn't exactly a super powerful weapon either, is it? Take care of it. I'm not sure if I want to kill this guy. I don't know how long he's gonna stay under control though. So I suppose good opportunity to learn. Ah, uh, we know they're gonna send bombs our way. Not exactly hopeful that we're going to hit it, but uh might as well give it a try. No armor piercing weapons. We're we're way too big of a target here, but I I don't particularly care. Critical moment. I still don't think it has the mobility to reach us, but I'm not exactly confident in that, so yeah, I would be happy if you could just shoot the fucker. Single disruptor shot will kill it. Why are you shooting at it? Huge success. Definitely shot my own guy there, but I'm not sure who shot. I think it, I just shot him. And mind control. I I'm not sure what use it is if it doesn't last any longer than that. I mean. I basically got to do nothing. I suppose he didn't get to do anything on his turn though. So he's now, if I can take control of him now, he should have all of his uh, action points. Which I cannot do. Is there uh, some kind of rule that determines what you can and can't do?
Yeah, it just isn't happening. Okay. Care of it. Fairly certain there are more people here. I suppose he could have run from a fairly long distance, and the bombs are very fast, but my doubts. Okay, here's where the real action will happen. So he had a live grenade in his hands. Fair enough. There should be more hyperworms. I know I killed one, but definitely at least two. Can't really just stay here and wait. I need to take care of things again. It's not dead, but it's injured to such a degree that I don't think it will be dangerous to us. Right. I don't think I want to do all that much. There's a hyperworm, it'll come through here. Pretty sure the two aliens there are more or less the final alien opponents. There should still be one group, maybe a half a dozen guys somewhere. Just take things cool. The cold of serious guys are basically out of the fight at this point. They're panicking.
right, and there's nothing here. So there's gonna be a couple of aliens there, but this is a dead end. Hey, they literally cannot go anywhere from that. I don't think they have the luxury of escaping the situation either. Okay, there's the work. I have to use a gas grenade no matter what we do. Yeah, I'd say we haven't pretty well boxed in at this point. The blue guy might cause a little bit of an upset with a few accurate shots, but I don't see anything else really happening here. That eliminates the multi work. Well, the Calder series is still has a turn, so I'm assuming that also means he has a guy somewhere. We'll attack on the next turn. Why can't I see them? Uh, it's not like I don't know that they're there. How the hell are you hiding your ass from me? I think that's enough shooting for one day. I don't want to risk it bursting open. It's currently pretty much harmless. Okay, anything else we need to do? Well, I haven't really explored this. There were enemies here, so... Wouldn't exactly hurt to have a proper look.
Holt at best has the one guy left. It's, it's not it's not spending enough time on its turn otherwise. And get rid of him. Right, I think we can put an end to this. Depending on how this goes. Need a weak weapon. Interest, interesting path choice again. Right, very, very good. There might be other uh, infestation or infiltration spreading here, but uh, I don't know what uh, what it would be. Sanctuary clinic, maybe. I, I'm not interested in particularly going after them. I want the research done, leave things at like that. I have wounded people, I have damaged vehicles. I'm not in a good position at the moment. At least I'm. Why do I have this? Uh, it's an emergency vehicle to respond to, to response to situations, that's what it is. If the interceptor for one reason or another cannot do it. I can't imagine what that situation would be, but there it is. I, I need more money. I, I need to guarantee that I can at least pay the salaries. Do I have... I don't think I have useful modules as far as vehicles are concerned. Okay. Proximity mines. They were all sent to the other base. Alright. No. I, I probably sold them before. That's the more likely explanation. I don't know what, where I would use heavy explosives. They're not that powerful anyway. Uh, I think you could have destroyed building walls previously with the heavy explosives, so you don't need to wait for the disruption of weapons. I, I don't see their point. Too many machine guns. Uh, no use for those, or those, or those. Plasma guns. I, I'm I'm not really using them, but I st I'll still keep the few. I'll keep up all the magazines for them. Six heavy launchers is too much. Uh, but we we could split uh, split them between the two bases, so that way they are not too much. Then we can overburden our soldiers, especially in the secondary base, by equipping them all kind of unnecessary stuff. Because at the start of the fight, it's much easier for me to drop the excess stuff than it's to... I, I'm not sure if I have the opportunity to equip the soldiers at the start of a base invasion. Hmm. We are going to have to sell disruptor guns. I don't uh, really care if our opponents get a hold of these either. I mean, they're good, but that's not... Unless they get hold of some great armor too, they're not really a concern. Uh, 35,000. No brain sucker launchers. Don't care about the motion scanners either. I suppose I should sell them away, but I don't need the money that badly. Yeah. So, at least we can afford to pay the salaries now. At 50,000, our ex uh, rating is 5,300 for this week. 
it was 3,000 previously. Yep. Overheads are 33,000, we have 50,000, so we'll at least survive the week. And I think though, today's Friday, so if we get lucky, we might even get something... Something decent still to sell. Right, I'll wait for the research that was just about to finish. Alien energy source. The energy source for the alien craft is generated in the spatial dimension chambers, which suck incredible amounts of energy from the alien dimension. These systems are highly unstable and should be treated with caution in combat situations. So that's that's useful. I suspect that we need to research all the basics before we can do any kind of a craft research of our own. Multiworm, okay, it's a lot of research coming up. There. Advanced Quantum Physics Lab, yes, please, 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 please. I desperately need another lab, and if I can get the advanced lab, that will help solve our problem. It will take more than a week to build, too, so the faster we get it done researching, the better. Ah, uh, yeah, it will probably take at least a day or two. Um, the next week, we're not going to get all that much research done. But uh, at least things are moving forward. Um, I'll try to see if we can... I'll send heavy launchers to the other base. That's what we needed to do. I am not interested in uh, samples in, uh, in a base defense situation. I'm interested in surviving it. I'd rather have the secondary base have most of the launchers because that it's it's a equalizer in numbers, so they have a greater need for it. Let's see if we can get the other research to come through too. Multiworm egg autops. A large worm like creature quickly develops inside the protective skin of the alien egg. This worm appears to contain the embryos of a further four life forms. We cannot tell how the next stage in the life cycle develops from the autopsy results, but the tissue will be useful for our toxicology research. So the autopsies are to develop better toxins. The life samples are to understand the alien life cycle. We need probably all the autopsies to get the their toxin. We likely lack uh, simply the bodies to do all of any of the good toxins. But this is the last alien life cycle research that I can think of. This would be just extra. Right? Alien genetic structure. Vehicle repairs. Transferred the goods. Might as well do that. So all you sons of bitches in this space get to start with a launcher and three high explosive missiles. The start of our defense mission more or less just going to, I suppose, drop the exit stuff we feel is unnecessary. Here we go. You have one missile too many. Right. So, maybe extra gas grenades would be nice too. They're a fairly effective disabling thing after you injured someone. So, This place is gonna need at least one or two extra guy. I mean, we want to seriously defend it, so I'll I'll keep these unequipped. Right. So things are starting to look more positive again, but 
there's no way in hell we can really conjure this stage of alien UFOs, let alone the next one, unless we get serious advancements in technology. I, I, I basically have developed zero technology based on the alien research so far. Um, and I don't think we can keep that going for too long, so... Advanced research facility and... Building. It'll take a week. Right. Biochemistry is running out of our research options. Uh, I suppose we're just going to move the researchers to the advanced lab and uh, demolish the two ones we have in the other base. That'll give us room to build something new there. And we don't have to hire new people or... I don't see a, a reason to have multiple research sites uh, if, if the research is this uh, limited. I mean, I barely have enough research for the two base, the two research labs now. I think I fucked up the research there, by the way. I think I should have done the genetic structure research as quickly as possible. I think that's the key to getting anything done, that sort of thing. So I should have focused one laboratory immediately on that and maybe have the others to continue with the necessary life's research. I think this will at least give our engineers something to do. And the disruptor cons are still not ready. I mean... What is it? It's been a week at least? Just 10 pistols. So, hopefully there's an advanced engineering babe too. I mean, I can't exactly build new craft in this engineering bay, so there has to be. But this is this is worthless. What I what can I do? Nothing. Still, I'm much happier with the our current situation than what it was at the start of the week. 